one of the showiest native vines in fall is this one. It's called virgin bower, actually it's very similar to the clematis you might grow in your garden that has big purple flowers, but this one is native nicknamed or common name virgin spower, also called old man's beard because of the fluffy seed heads it produces in fall. In spring, it has little tiny white flowers that cover the vine and they're pollinated by things like butterflies and bees, even hummingbirds visit virgin spower. So it's a great native vine. It's also a great climber. It spirals around tree trunks and other shrubs. This one's practically smothering a, 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 a rose, a multiflora rose, and it's doing a pretty good job of it too. So it's a very, very aggressive grower. Similar to another small white flowered clematis called sweet autumn clematis. That one's very fragrant. Sometimes people plant it in their yard or their garden. When it escapes out in the wild, it can really smother many, many plants and shrubs, uh, but both of them have very similar growth habits. You can tell the two of them apart by taking a look at the leaves. The native virgin's bower has little teeth that surround the edges of each of its leaves, and the sweet autumn clematis has smooth edges to its leaves. But I think the most interesting part is the seed heads. These fluffy little seed heads with very feathery uh, appendages. Each feather, so to speak, ends in a little seed. And those little seeds can spread out in the wind, aided by their little feathery parachutes that help it travel. So take a look if you're hiking in a fall woods and you see this showy vine that's climbing with this spectacular fuzzy white seed heads, it's probably one of the two clematises and hopefully it's the native virgin's bower. Remember you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.